Uh, here we go. Uh, I had a hard time getting the uh, authorities, but anyway, here we go. Uh, Mama must be long. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the fact uh, well, of what they have planned to air, anyway. But anyway, my low shadow will start to repair and rip my copy again. The plot of this one is I do it for the time to follow around Milo for a day to figure out how to deal with, you know, bad luck and he had his own juice law, essentially. While meanwhile, the coach and a few other people are dying up the club. Uh, big people who have seen aliens and want to prove he can think of them, which of course Cameron showed up to. Uh, being young, you know, he, you know, doing alien raid stuff with a gun. Not Dakota, I don't know where he is. We don't explain that. We, um, after Juke Day Out, it's just the overcast ratio I do, I was not looking forward to this one. And this one's about what I thought would be. It kind of makes it better than Juke Day Out. Okay, I could. I think that one had a few more funny jokes in it, but that one had more lofty ambition than, um, junk in that kind of, you know. The book one, the book one is feeling even more pointless. It's like doing for, you know, you know doing for trying to figure, to figure out a bit more how to deal with his merging law. Like an okay idea, but it's not the most interesting. And I, and the one more conclusion I came to was not gonna be a bad, crazy because we've seen how I'll deal with it. And the conclusion I come to is to, you know, be prepared more. Um, that could do it for, apparently. They do a dumb joke where he basically learns nothing. And I know it's a good joke, but the way it does it kind of, I don't know, made it feel especially pointless. Like, you know, and I, I don't know, I feel like, you know, the cup goes again. It's supposed to be a simple, funny one, but I feel like if they do a whole lot, we're going to do I feel like you've got to give us a little more, you know? But, um, some of it was funny, though. Um, uh, dude forgot a couple of fun, a guy, uh, uh, I thought he had a few funny jokes, I do remember being joked, but, um, he got a few funny moments, you know, I mean, he's dunk, it's dunk off, kind of annoying, doing for showing up, at the first time. um, he got a couple of funny lines, but he had, at least, um, yeah, um, I'm like, uh, Elliot got a funny cameo, where he had deal with that again, Speaking of Elliot, uh, remember the uh, drunk wolf and kick one kind of guy from my dream? They repeat it. Not much of a twist to it. It's doing from the time and he does do quite a fish of a job like Elliot did. And I give that book to be like a joke, but they don't. And they don't blame chain it. They don't even have a character go, you know, it's kind of look familiar. No, they became calling everything. They just do it again. And they, what they have slightly interesting music spin on it, but not enough for me to say it's worth doing it again. Like, another episode kind of repeat thing, you may either lampshade it or they add something, and this one is just like, oh, you're doing it again. I like the song, but it's like, I don't know. Um, like, I'm gonna do this one again. I'm mm. just uh, gonna realize, it's the old catchuration, having so much of him. But, um,. You know, especially in the show, I think I'm able to have him. We're not going to for where he won't part of the show, we'll be him all the time. Fine. I thought Doom Turn Sick really worked better back than you, Evil. You had to be a bumbling evil guy to the really pathetic character, you know, like, like you know, for, for backering stuff. Yeah, that made him really well rounded. Now I think, like, good. He's like, the trick of Doom Turn Sick up everything you done while trying to, like, be good program. That's sick and funny a couple times. But when they keep coming back to it, it's like, that, the reason why the show ended with him turning good, because we knew there was not much more we could can tell now that he won't go into a catcher with a couple. You know? And who knows, maybe if maybe they did a whole Duke spin-off show, maybe they could have made that stick work. But even if they did, they would have to vary up the joke. Have to, like, do a sort of food. But, um, but that kind of like, plot with uh, the coot. Um, like that kind of thing. It was pretty funny. It was a good joke they do with that. The coach being crazy, I like. Um, and then, and again, it's like the acronym. Again, it's kind of still more of the luck lesson, but it's still funny. Um, you know, um, you know, that's just the same stuff. The alien court that and recurring, that we can go back. Recording, come by alien catcher, co-corporate, you show up. I like how Doom Fork creates the 
Mm-hmm. Crazy. I believe you can go home and later from where Perry. No, no, no. You do get to make deals with your own. This is a funny joke we do there. Um, so, I also like when you make cool small. So, there's a few funny do gags. You know, it's like, I, I would think he will definitely, you can a little annoying, but he can like annoying when you do that. And then, look, look, I, I don't know, I don't want him too grumpy. And he usually usually highlights that one. They have to cover our other joke in there. You know, that was did didn't need a couple of But, um, there's a coin link for coin, I can go by it. But, um, I don't know, they have to cover the concept of doing sort of. It's not a particularly kind of one, and it's more mildly entertaining. Coke Cup Code is merely decent. It's entertaining enough, and it better be down, but it's kind of pointless. Cause I don't know. Really, I don't know. It didn't make me go, oh, I'm glad you're from here, or I'm going to have a making up code. It's like, oh, uh, I get to hear. Coke Cup Code is funny, at least. Yeah, I'm looking too grumpy. I know, I get grumpy every time. So I even appear again, I'm like, I don't know, I just go with Gatchery, but maybe for barely any event we had up like this, maybe. But, um, but, no, no, again, it is better than that. But that has a few really funny ones, but that's a lot more content and really entertaining. So, that's going okay. So, I'll give you in a bit for, uh, Pick Day. Okay. Now, time for Pick Day, run by Joshua Pure Pirouette. Probably learn about that, right? <laughs> but, but anyway, so, so we are going forward with the alien plotline, and basically, the alien wish to come down and get a sample of Milo while he kick when Buck are unable to relate too much. Uh, of with the boss, the alien scaling, getting her to <clears throat> favorite look like, down, and they are quite incompetent at it to go lead to Lash and Hagen. Well, meanwhile, Doom and Schwartz still want to go out and do good, and even, you know, thought to put going out do good or doof. Um, <laughs> um, I kind of just want to talk about this plot, but I'll uh, talk about the other plot. Um, I, some people, are, some people think I like, little if you on the Alien Sky story, but I like it. In the same way, I do like the co and one. Not good, but I enjoy them. You know, they want, they apparently want to, like, that get the Murphy Law. Find out about it. Kind of like the little bit we get of the alien, and I did quite enjoy the alien duo in this one. They got, <laughs> they got sort of like I don't know, comedy duo, I don't know, comedy duo thing going on with them that I find pretty entertaining. You know, our attempt to get you know scramble from Milo, especially or funny, especially with Dog, <laughs> uh, topping them, which I like. Um, so and yeah. Again, again, them, you know, they're bowling like that's not funny. Um, a look of funny antique we do there, you know. Um, I didn't do quite much of my wing kick, I guess, with the light, but I was a bit of a start where apparently Gaka brought out mind actually having to take the bus to school. Uh, like, I'll point out the pilot, it's a bus to school today. A bus! You know. <laughs> yeah, but, um, New insurance plan of course can get certainly interesting. Um big game more stuff to what we were doing in the chicken clock, you know, with we doing persona to do it and then more like the game. We got fun song. A rockish song. Do go to do I like that song. Um I like how Perry had the theme like on his like iPod or whatever and he buffed that out. Like that that was funny. Um most of it is relatively typical. It's very similar to what we did in Ticking Clock, not too much new. Until the ending, and uh, they actually have a bit of a cliffhanger. Both Plank have a cliffhanger um, in them, which I found to be very interesting, especially in the new plot. Like, I'm actually kind of interested. <laughs> Before then, they're doing with Shake again, of doing from trying to do good, and, you know, <laughs> failing at it. Um, yeah, you know, it's like, here he didn't bring up a fucker time, so we, you can just pretend he's doing it out of kind of little heart more go over time. So, you know, very bad. Um, well, um, um, yeah, um, doing for good incorporated, complete with jingle. Although he can't, he has no idea where that comes from. Uh, hopefully he means, typically now, get the jingle thing in regard of who know uh, where could he, yeah, I have them, you know, they get it, but who will rap to them? Probably the same place Norman Vanessa are. I don't know. But yeah, do what you're good incorporated. So I got the game ring to it, but there you go. 
Um, but yeah, there's some football I dare I kind of liked, particularly for the way it ended. Kind of left on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Um, so far, we can kind of more up go that more like our big people are just to like, you know, team part of the plot and having a little dropping of them than to stand on their own and really good story. He went primarily did a good job of having a lot of stand on their own, even if they do just completely move things along a little bit. Um, the one left go, the most one can stand on their own as fun big comedy, fun story, but there are a few more that are like, uh, the previous one was kind of like that, you know, nothing really moved forward except for, you know, having the LAP reference an extra time. And here, have a lot of code. Again, some uh, people are like crazy about the alien stuff, and, uh, um, I don't, I don't mind, I can't think, I don't mind Mark Bob being the kind of thing, Kimball would be it kind of always has been in a sense, because if a company that could be packed down generation to generation, it's not, it going to have some logic to it. Not to mention him being able to you get to favor in rooting for the enemy and a few of them like that. So I don't quite mind all that stuff. Provide that funny and interesting and it is. Gonna look up go to go. The one pretty good. Even with the Duke stuff, I feel like we did something pretty interesting with it. And I'm really curious to what is going to happen next. Is that someone gonna immediately follow up on what we're going on in the cup code or if we're gonna wait a little bit? But, um, we are a fair few half hour into the thing, and I ended up looking high count the half hour into the overall looking up because it's 31. Overall, for the whole theory, and that concluding thing from set into a two half hour. So, yeah, uh, the first episode was entertaining enough, I suppose, but definitely had the game flaw that come with the Duke stuff they've been doing. And the other one, pretty good with the actor and stuff. Just so there, but still enjoyable to me. Um, the new wiki to be, but, you know, or, the, um, if I, if I can get it to load, I think kind of slow from time to go. Um, yeah, I believe one more pairing in this batch, the September batch, they plan to be airing over in Europe and Africa. That'll be like it. Um, and then, uh, at least for what they plan to air. Maybe they plan to air come in the rest of the year, or they won't plan to air any of them. Uh, any other control, we get me up going in January. I do hope we plan to not just air Concord, but air a few more episodes. Not just air that, then it's waiting longer for the episode here. Um, again, by the time this goes up, and you can either, you know, you'll know the answer to that, so it's not like any other stuff matter, but I need to know for a fact what the last two episodes of the batch are going to be. But two, Edmund. I think really cool. Um, I believe it's supposed to be like a major plot episode, I think. But especially if Wave of One ended, I mean, um, uh, I would be surprised if we kind of hold off on directing it for a couple episodes, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn it, oh, come on! Really, really cool. Come on, there we go. Kinda. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Okay, go. Free Fall and My Little Horror, which does not have a specific candidate of what could potentially air tomorrow. I don't know. But I hope go. Yeah, Free Fall and My Little Horror. Um, I believe I read the quote today, but I definitely got it. Think. Go. I should be you whenever for vote. Go. Goodbye.